Christmas in Rockwell is a 2022 film directed by Amy Force, written by Luciano Casimiri, and this stars Trish Stratus as our protagonist, Alyssa. And we also have Stephen Hussar as Jake. And Alyssa is a successful Hollywood actor, and she decides to go back home for Christmas. Well, it's not home. She goes to her hometown for Christmas. Her mother is back in LA where she's been living since Alyssa was a child and she starred in this adorable Christmas film and it launched her career as an actor when she was a young child. And ever since then, she's not been really able to do Christmas things because she'd be recognised, she'd be mobbed. So she decides to go back to Rockwell where she grew up and try and remain incognito and do these traditional Christmas films. But when you're a big Hollywood star returning to the town that gave you your name, it's kind of hard to hide from people. And she meets Jake very early on in the film, who just so happens to own the local struggling theatre. And he recognises her, and he's the only one who knows who she is for a very long time. And I think that that works. Had she lied about who she was, the film wouldn't have went in the direction it did. And at least, you know, being straight up with Jake, I think it helped to, to drive the narrative forward. And it's not a bad narrative as such. It flows well. It's well developed. I believe the character's actions. I believe their motivations. But I didn't, I didn't like Alyssa. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that she was, you know, hiding her true identity to other people. I have absolutely no problem with that. I just, I found her impossible to warm to. And that meant that I didn't care about her. So I wasn't that bothered if her identity was going to be revealed or if something was threatening her anonymity. I didn't care about her at all. In fact, not only did I not care about her, but sometimes I didn't like her. Sometimes I actually disliked the character. And I can't quite put my finger on why that is. Part of me thinks it's maybe because she hasn't quite got the ability to shake off this it girl persona, which she definitely seems to portray a lot of the time. And it meant that she never, even when she let her guard down, mostly with Jake and the relationship that develops there in the uh, rom part of the rom-com, even then I couldn't warm to her and I didn't like her. So... Since I didn't like 50% of our romantic leads, I wasn't that bothered about the romantic aspect. Jake's perfectly likable, really liked him as a character. The narrative wasn't that interesting, not that much happens. Except one thing, there was one moment in the film that completely took me by surprise, but it is a spoiler, um, so I will talk about that at the end very briefly credit where it's due. But in general, there isn't anything wrong with it. The narrative is fine. The characters are well enough written. I just don't like Alyssa at all. So I didn't really enjoy the film. Would I recommend it? If, like me, you love Christmas rom-coms and can't get enough of them, then give it a go. There might be something that appeals to you. Maybe Alyssa won't bother you as much as she did me. Maybe you'll even like her. But for me, I'm not a fan of the film. It's an interesting enough idea, but unfortunately, Alyssa is not a very likable character. There's plenty of Christmas in it. She's working her way through this list of Christmas activities that she has fond memories of doing as a child. So that means that we have a lot of opportunity for a lot of Christmas. The film definitely did a good job with that. But unfortunately, Alyssa just annoyed me a little bit too much for me to say that I enjoyed this, unfortunately. However, there is that one moment I mentioned that I loved, and this is a, a big spoiler for something that happens. Well, I'm going to spoil what I consider to be the best moment in the whole film. So spoilers from now. This is the last thing I have to say. And it's the moment where Jake's mother gets down on one knee and proposes to her partner. I don't think... I have watched hundreds and hundreds of Christmas rom-coms, and I can't think of a single one where a woman has proposed to a man. There might be another one, and I'm just not remembering it. But the point there, of course, is that I wasn't expecting that. It never happens, or at least almost never happens. And I, I really love that. And I thought it was really sweet. And it put a smile on my face. So it may not be a great film, but we did have at least one really great moment. It's watchable, but Elisa is not very likable. And ultimately, that affected 
my overall enjoyment of the film.